In 2016, the same year in which Audi Bank benefited from financial engineering and made over $1.6 billion in profit, one of its foreign branches conducted an operation to buy shares from an offshore company. We found the latter is connected to Riyadh Salame. This means that it's likely that the selling and buying process happened between the governor and another bank he oversees. How did this happen? Do you remember the OCCRP and the Deraj investigation, which exposed through documents that the governor has offshored almost $100 million of his wealth via Luxembourg, a safe haven? We could not know about that until Luxembourg changed his laws and obliged companies to disclose their beneficial owners. <laughs> But this was not everything. Crossbridge is a London-based company registered in Malta with UK subsidiaries. His son, Nadi, used to work there. Among shareholders in this investment company were several Lebanese banks and businessmen, a share for the son of the central bank governor, and for a number of offshore companies, including Crossland, set up in 2008. The share transfer from the Audi Bank subsidiary to Crossland was valued at $2.06 million. So, what is the relationship between Riyadh Salame and Crossland, which sold its shares to Audi Bank in the same year the financial engineering took place, in which Audi Bank was one of the biggest beneficiaries at $1.6 billion? Crossland was registered in Panama in 2008. Its sole shareholder was Salamandur, a Liechtenstein trust set up one month before Crossland. The beneficial owner of both companies is anonymous, as secrecy laws in these two safe havens permit that. However, the board members in both companies are the same. They are also board members in Marion Capital SA in Panama, incepted on the same day of Crossland. It is shown that one party settled the cost of setting up both companies. Marion Capital is the same company which owned a luxury $4 million apartment in London where Nadi Salame has listed as his address in London since 2013. Marion transferred ownership of the flat to Riyadh Salame, who signed a statement saying the transfer was not for money or anything that has monetary value. The second day, he transferred ownership to his son, and Marion Capital was later dissolved. Back to Crossland, it was transferred from Panama to Liechtenstein in 2018. According to its data, its assets are valued at $44 million. Article 20 of the Money and Credit Law bans the governor and his deputies from partnership in a private company in any form other than investments in financial bonds. Daraj and OCCRP contacted the governor several times. When asked about a potential link between him and Crossland Company, he told us through his lawyer he does not understand the question. When we repeated our questions to inquire about the relationship between Salamandur, which owns Crossland, he said, private matters are not up for discussion. We tried to get in touch with Crossbridge where the sale purchase transaction happened, but the company declined to comment about its anonymous shareholders, citing confidentiality. When we asked the governor repeatedly, he expressed astonishment as to why we are focusing on him and ignoring other public servants. 